thought we had a very, very productive 2017 training camp. Thought the uh, the guys that are returning, in addition to the new guys that we've welcomed uh, to our football team, did a really good job of downloading, processing, and then executing what we installed in the uh, four-week segments of training camp. Um, really, really excited about the growth that we've had from year one to two and excited to see uh, and how we produce this season, but really, really excited about the entire unit as a whole. Uh, when it comes to uh, Baylor, got a lot of respect for their head football coach, uh, Matt Rule. We've uh, we faced him in years past uh, during our tenure at the University of Buffalo, and he's always put together a phenomenal offense. Um, and since uh, his time taking over as a head football coach, he's produced some very, very productive football teams, um, and so. I imagine this team is going to be no different than any of the teams he's led in the years past. They're always going to play physical. They're always going to play fast. Um, and they're always going to be disciplined. With so many injuries in the secondary, is that with Baylor, with uh, one of their top guys uh, out for six to eight weeks, another one suspended today for three games, another safety also out, do you find a way to differentiate your attack, or do you still go with the same game plan you guys have been formulating for the past couple of weeks? I think the nature of uh, just being on the offensive side of the football is regardless of who the personnel is the opponent has in, you have to stick with what you do best and try not to modify uh, anything for one particular person uh, in general just because then you get caught up in too many different variations of what you do. Um, I think regardless of who they have out there, they're going to be well trained, well coached uh, just because that defensive staff has some experience and playing a lot of young guys and veterans and getting people to buy in relatively uh, soon. So we won't make any uh, modifications to what we do. We're going to stick with the game plan that we've put in place. Um, and regardless of who they put out there, you know, we're going to challenge them uh, just like they're going to challenge us. Who are some of the guys on defense for them that can uh, impact the game? Well, you got Ira Lewis. Uh, you got KJ Smith. Um, you got a number of guys that have played a lot of football for them. And so with that being said, um, you got to take into account that, you know, them not being rookies, them understanding how to play the defensive line position uh, or the linebacker position as well, um, that this, this ain't their first rodeo. They've seen a lot of stuff that, you know, we're going to do over there, you know, 20 plus game experiences. So um, for us to just to be successful versus them, it's about really just playing fast, playing physical playing discipline um, and finishing every play uh, the way that we've coached them you know, to do so. Coach, is this year's offense more explosive than last year? I'd say yes. Uh, year two in this system, we expect uh, a lot more explosives in the run and pass game. Um, we've got a lot of guys last year that probably should have registered and had an opportunity to play. And so now they're very, very comfortable and familiar with what we're doing. Uh, and the pace at which you know we uh, we get plays in, and we try to get them run, uh, it's no longer a uh, you know see the signal or hear, think, then react. It's instantaneous. It's recognize and, and, and respond accordingly. And so, I'm excited about all position groups now because I feel like we finally climbed the ladder in the sense of being. Uh, on the same page, uh, being able to mesh very well and to play at, at a unique tempo and a unique pace um, together. What have you seen out of Michael Henderman and his road back from the back injury to where he is now as a, a leader on the offensive line and a guy who can really stabilize that unit? I think he's stayed the course with the process of any injury. It's easy for guys to kind of get off course once uh, they have any type of setback, whether it's uh, a physical injury um, or anything off the field related. It's kind of hard for guys to uh, to stay the course knowing that there's so much time between from now until I have an opportunity to play. And I think, I think he's done a really good job of uh, doing what we asked him to do um, and then taking that, meeting the expectation, exceeding it, and excited to see him named as a team captain because that goes to show you that here's a gentleman that had a setback last year uh, only to climb that mountain, which is difficult, and to do so with some success and to be recognized by his peers, his coaches as a leader. So um, 
we're really, really excited about him this season. Uh, Wimbo said that it was a little more difficult to prepare this year for a Baylor with a new coaching staff as opposed to last year with a Virginia Tech and a new coaching staff. Have you found that to be true on, on the offensive side too? Uh, not so much for us, just in the sense that uh, Virginia Tech last year, you know, they have a legend as a defensive coordinator. Guy's been doing it for you know for a very long time, and he's kept the same system. He's not going to change. This gentleman here, Mr. Snow, uh, has some success everywhere he's gone, and he's made some modifications and tweaks to his system. And so, uh, we know in years past what kind of defense they were and what they're accustomed to, and the things that he's done in years past is not the same. Um, and so, you know, we're expecting everything, um, just because. You know, we're not in a no right now uh, with what they're doing on defense other than what we've studied you know, in years past from the different places they've been. And so they may get themselves in a situation where, hey, we need to stick with what they've done in years past or scrap everything that they've done and put in what we know. And so with that being said, um, because our defense is so, uh, you know, so different and they vary everything that they do, we feel like we're well prepared for the number of different schemes you can get um, from them and what we studied on tape. What's the impact positively on the shifting of the assistant coaches during the offseason offensively and elevating Kyle to wide receiver coach? What impact has he had on that group? Well, I think we've always had you know the pieces to the puzzle uh, within our program. Uh, anytime you make any adjustments or shifts, um, the people that are affected most of the time are the players. And it just happened to be in this case, um, we've always had the right people. We made some, some adjustments, and now the relationships have grown just because Kyle was in a different role last year. Um, him being elevated now gives him uh, a higher voice amongst the coaching staff. Um, he's always going to have respect for the players, but now you know, he's called to, uh, to lead a position group uh, that's very, very crucial in what we do. And ha him having played here and coached the position now, um, that room has been impacted in a positive way. Uh, moving Coach Stam to offensive line has been a good addition as well just because uh, everything he does was with passion and excitement, and he develops relationships with his guys. And so guys uh, enjoy playing for someone that they can see the fire and excitement uh, in you know the way that they coach and the way they interact with them. So um, it's been exciting to see those two groups change. And then the, you got Coach Downing, who's you know notorious around the country, known as a tight ends coach, moving from running backs to tight ends, which has been really, really good. And Coach Brown, um, who's in the same boat. He's coached receivers, he's coached tight ends, he's coached running backs most recently in years past at other institutions. Um, it was just a, a really, really unique uh, changeup that we feel like has been really, really positive.